was know, born yeah. on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so when I said that, I can't yes, possibly be. Yes, finally a Kavaf genetic code. Yes. He has a black friend. That like, I know. I have a few black friends. I don't know. He can't keep count of all of his black I'm, friends. I know I have at least one. The other ones I only see Saturday night. So tonight is one of the times I'm going to see them. They have really nice dicks. That's the only reason why they come over is to fuck me. Oh god, Scott, Scott, I don't think you were supposed to say that. Oh, um, I mean, no, I only have one black friend. No, Scott, I told you you shouldn't have No, said it's it. consensual! 16 is consensual. You can have consensual sex when you're 16. You just have to tell the cops, no, I said it's okay. You know? Who's saying he doesn't fuck them as well? Oh no, I don't. I just let them fuck me. No, no, um, they like, <laughs> they boo cocky around me. One of them fucks my ass. One of them like, uh, jizzes in my mouth like while the other ones just start jerking off on top of me. I don't like this conversation anymore. I'm not safe in this house. I don't need protection. <laughs> Some uh, I don't I don't need protection. Gay sex doesn't need protection. Like um Scott yeah yes it does. Wait it does? I'm yeah. gonna have to get an AIDS test. <laughs> That's what they call my ass. Oh, 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 oh god, what have they done to you? Did they use the Moby dick? No, they have really big dicks. It's at least... No, they I'm, have pretty big dicks, something. though. No, no, I'm not. No, because that's incest. I, oh, I, I oh yeah. Back. What do you mean? Yeah, that's not incest. Are they distant relatives? No. No, but they're like my bros, you know? And it's not home. gay, but because before we do it, we say no homo. We all shake and say no homo. Ford oh, needs. sometimes they bring a really hot chick, too. They just said the chick just watches, does nothing. No, she gets so fucked, too. Her pants go farther out, though, which is weird. Yeah, they, they fuck her as well, just so... They, they just if they stop. get they bored, just, they just stay it, like if they don't want to masturbate, you know, they'll just bring a hot chick or whatever. Because if they know that you're, if they know that if they we have a schedule, out, Gavin. We switch I every day. They have it planned out before this happens. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes they're like, oh, these people are gonna masturbate, it. and then they're like, no, we don't want to masturbate, so they bring this hot chick. And and I'm like, ooh, company, and we talk. We, we talk quite a we lot. We just talk. You guys have a normal conversation. What, what well, the say? jizz, the jizz is the food. I mean, protein. I mean, when you come over next time, we can pl we can plan ahead and bring food that day. We don't usually bring food because the protein and wait, the jizz, wait, stop, you know? Wait, stop. These are kebabs. Not a single kebab genetic code. Okay, back to my story. So, it happens every Saturday night. So, tonight is one of those times. Um... It'll go for three hours, maybe. Maybe more, depending upon... Like, they all have to come, though. Depending on how long it takes for them to get hard. As as much as they can, or as much as they want to. But they all have to at least come once. 
what maneuver? Yes, pretty much. Oh, look, you got the extinguished dragon ball. I didn't bring the key. But anyways, the key to my Watch hole out. is definitely the big black dicks. Yes, we have lube because if we don't use lube, everything hurts. Like everybody's dicks, everybody like everybody's dicks hurt, and then my butt hurts. It's like it's like a flame inside my butthole. It like we we were so oh, dumb God. not bringing lube that one time. We learned from that experience though. And they usually they usually bring a different hot hot like we have a schedule for the hot chicks too like. We know a few hot chicks and like what happens is there will be sometimes one will come over and then maybe two or it depends, you know? Okay. I I think there's more. I need to remember I need to think. And the plot thickens. Oh yeah, that's actually a joke that we do whenever somebody gets a really big boner, like like what <laughs> that's what we call somebody's dick. We call it the plot. So whenever he gets a heart on, we go, the plot thickens. I shouldn't have said anything. My brother was the one that made it do that, so shut up. Well, technically, I was the one that made it thicken. That's exactly what I was guessing you were gonna do. Sargus Rock. That's what we call somebody else's dick. Shut up. <laughs> Whoa, was it on fire? No, it's just... Was it robotic? Did it glow? It's a Did bright it red. It's a bright red, but... It's it's like yeah. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Dick, pretty much. <laughs> well, I mean... Gavin, you could, you could observe. We have, like... Sometimes people come to observe our techniques. Yeah, you didn't... Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you that part yet. So sometimes, oh, like, God we'll send, we have, like, a whole thing on Facebook. It's private, though, and we, like, <sighs> give people the, we give people the link to it. Um, randomly on the streets, like, mostly gay guys. Sometimes, like, sometimes we'll have some straight guys, some sometimes regular die. straight women, you know. But sometimes they'll even join in. How do you think he gets the hot guys and girls? I mean, yes, I may be ugly, but I'm like... Oh my... Well, not right now, but all those other times, it was perfect. We forgot to ask, are you making money? Um... I'm not a prostitute, but... We do have a... I forgot to tell you. We also have oh, this no. guy that comes and observes, and he's our boss. So he's the one that pays us. I'm mad. Sometimes he joins in too. But not all the time because... I'll let everybody know right Oh, sometimes we get... Like, sometimes we get fingers up the butts. Um... Well, usually I get the finger up the butt. But... Uh, I, sometimes I we go, like... We that. full on put a Wii remote in my butt. Like, it, or okay, we all have, on, like, man. something in our butt. Do you, wait, Scott, do you, at le do you at least put the strap on your leg? Yes. No. No, I put this... That's dangerous. I put... Because it's my leg is too big, I, I usually have, like, a pole that it straps onto. And it just holds it there. Um, I'll remind Ow. them to... I'll remind them all to bring condoms. Uh, and I'll also tell them about the reusable condoms that they can use if they want to. Flip it inside. No, just put it on a sink. Bang. Start filling that baby up. And then empty it out. Then bang. You got another one to use. Well, I'll, I'll tell them they can bring reusable condoms, but they don't exactly have to. They can just bring normal condoms. But I'd rather... Like, the, not even normal condoms, they can bring, like, rib condoms, they can bring, like... Rib flavored. No, no, ribbed. Not rib flavored. Well, I mean, so aren't ribs, but I still eat them. You can shut up. 
How do you not know? I thought I took. Oh no, I didn't tell you. It was a secret for a while. That's why. There are times. There are sometimes where. Well, we're too tired, so we cancel. So it depends on who, what schedules we can work with. But more than not, we usually have a great time. Sometimes we take breaks in between, of course, because it gets a little tiring. And then, also, sometimes my butt gets too filled, so I have to clean it. Why are we talking about this? I'm getting this off my chest. I need more people to know this. Have a like, long time with that juggernaut, Scott. What? Don't make me deal with the juggernaut. <laughs> actually, you know, thinking of which... After I said juggernaut? Think, uh, speaking of which, actually, there's this one guy God that comes, it. like, uh, every other Saturday named Juggernaut. He's, like, a big buff dude. He looks like he, he's been lifting weights for a long time, you know? And out of all of us, he has the biggest dick. Out of all of the black dudes, he has the biggest dick. It, it's just big enough, though, that it'll fit. But, Got a you know, speaking of ruining lives, I mean, like, shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Except for that one time where one of them got an STD and uh, had to go to the hospital. But we don't talk about that. He survived, though, so I guess we can talk about it today. Uh, Robert? Jerome. Yeah, that one was the white guy that came that one day. Literally. He never came. He never came again. Yeah. He never came again. <laughs> no, don't. No, we usually put posters in areas where we know because we know like every gay person and every like every big dick boy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we know everybody there too. Well, Welcome almost everybody. The community. I can answer any questions you have, like. Do you use a jackhammer that has I mean, a dildo attached to the end? I don't know. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes actually, but uh, we break. Just, like, just if you it want depends to, on yeah. it depends on what we're really feeling, you know, like. Sometimes, sometimes we'll use toys, sometimes we won't, but usually to get the best experience, we use toys. Uh, sometimes, well, I won't start sword fighting, but they will. And they'll usually sword fight over me. So, they've hit me in the face a few times. Uh, there's only been and one time. Your prize. They, there, there was one time, though, where they knocked me out, but, uh... I got bad that way. Shut up. Well, yeah, technically. Um, but I was I was good. I I woke up because they slapped me in the face again with a penis. Yep. yep. Um. They them. Sometimes, sometimes. But not all the time. That's more like a, um. What what stuff do you do? Um. On a daily basis. No, I said this is only on Saturdays. There are times what? where it's on the weekday. But, uh... There's been a few times where it's been a week straight, but... It's not often. Sometimes it's been two weeks in a row. But not straight, because of course I have to go to school and all that, but... Uh, pretty good, like, to do it. It's really fun it makes me it lets me meet new people it lets you be who you are it, uh, me, it yeah it lets me find new ways to get it on in bed um sometimes we get a little kinky sometimes we get a little too kinky there's only been like tw once or twice that i've actually needed an ambulance uh, they didn't mean to. Um, I did sign, I did sign a paper just in case they ever wondered why they were fucking me. So, 
they won't be sent to jail for that. Uh, I signed it on my free will, because I was like, yeah, sure, why not, I'll try this. And then I was like, oh, this is nice. Any more to this story? Yeah, there was actually this one guy who we called Broken War. Because Stop. he... What? His dick he wasn't why? broken. His dick wasn't broken. It's just uh, he was broke and he was really strong. And he won a lot of battles, yeah. So I wonder, I wonder how uh, snipers do <laughs> Speaking of which... we a second sniper. There's one, we've had an army guy once, and he was a trained sniper in the military, and oh, believe it or not, he sniped me with his jizz. Improv at its best. Improv? Oh god, wait, is this true? Yeah, so you're saying you've, you haven't heard me doing it no, at, every Saturday night? No, I have not. You were amazing. I have to listen to me. We, we've used yeah. one of those as a sex toy. It did not end well. Let's it up. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't like in a live. It wasn't yeah. a real cephalopod, but it simulated a squid, you know? Give me my cravat mod, then. Come on, give me my cravat mod. Come it's, on, where am I mod? It was, it was more like. We, we've gotten. Like. Oh. What is it? Like. An alien dildo of sorts? Like, they actually sell them where they actually lay fake eggs. But they're oh, just like round balls that. or whatever. But... They are those like ducks in that mouth. What did you say? That's not even a joke, Scotty. Do you know that those are real? Yeah! I just said they were real. Yeah, we ha we've had some fun times. The most fun is when um, we have three ladies over and they bring uh, two more guys. No, two more guys each. No, one more guy each. Sorry, I'm remembering that wrong. And, and then we have enough pussy and butt crack to go around, you know? He's pouring bleach into his ears. Okay? Oh, speaking of nuts, they have some pretty big nuts, too. Shut up. Be happy you didn't what? say peanuts. P penis? They have some pretty big peanuts. <laughs> or do you want me? If you weren't... Well, I mean, it's better that you're here because then he won't be too weirded out. He won't be the only one listening. But, I mean, like... He's like, I'm the only one that knows this. Yeah, and then he wouldn't believe... He, nobody would believe him. More. Oh, God, I forgot it's the Juggernaut. That's what I say every other Saturday. What, you forgot it was the Juggernaut? No. Then I need... I need more. Well, every... Every... Every day after a Saturday, I always ask for more. Like I, like I say, I need like more. Aww. What? You're like, where's Juggernaut? Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. I can't always come. Aww. Well, after that incident, yeah, he he can't always come, but like he tries. I mean, it works a lot of the time. Do you like, encourage him to do it? Yeah, I encourage him to train more because he needs to learn. He needs to learn to um train his dick so he can come more. Not if you got dick that. Well, not more. I mean, like there was an incident that he had with a dog. Um. Not not like a real dog, but a, a human that was like that pretending. Yeah, pretending to be a dog. But they thought they were a dog a little bit too much and they got way too into it and uh 
actually yeah. like hurt hurt him really badly. Not too badly though. He can still nut, but he still needs to train to nut more. After that moment, he stopped nutting because he got scared so. Well, I I try to encourage him, and usually he does it because we know each other very well. Because I mean, if he doesn't nut at all, he'll get blue balls. Um. He can still have really good sex, he can still enjoy it, he just can't nut. And that's that's the part that really gets to him because it hurts when you can't nut and you're feeling like you're about to climax, but you can't, you know? Like, it, that reminds me of a joke when we first, uh, when that first happened. Uh, we went, that was Andy climaxed dick. But, uh, he told us the story that day, and, like, we were like, oh, sorry for making that joke. But then he said it was okay, because he thought it was also funny. Um, but today we're gonna try a white guy again. Uh, I mean, tonight, sorry, not today. Hey, you know what? I, I need you to know this. So, like... No, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. Well... <laughs> You signed up for it when we started talking about it. Can, can, can I sue mom because I didn't want to be born? They didn't ask if I wanted to be born. Oh, uh, birth without consent. I know that feeling. Ah. What? What did you yell at? I was just saying birth without consent. I know how, how that oh, feels. Haha, <laughs> speaking of shafts! God damn it. <laughs> speaking of shafts! I swear to God if you say something about that. We met this one guy who worked in an elevator shit. shaft. And, like, it was a glass elevator. Well, not a glass elevator. It was like, there was glass so you could see out of it. And there was one time he drew, somebody drew a dick on it. And he had to clean it, but it was really hard because it wasn't in the inside of the glass, it was on the outside of the glass. I've not chilled out. I still want more combat genetic codes. Oh, speaking of genetic codes, we usually swap genetic codes. Shut up, how about that? <laughs> we usually swap genetic code through our jizz. Still, we swap genetic code, like, uh, every three Saturdays. Get them combats. And... Like, we're like, oh, this is great protein for us, and like, it's, it's great. No, because it's not really good for the skin. I mean, sometimes it'll get to the point where it just, it just absorbs into my skin, you know? Oh, there we go. It's not really my fault, so... It's nobody's actual fault that it happens, it's just, it's super absorbent skin, you know. Oh yeah, so, uh, Ken, so what, what happens is, uh, I can actually send you the next date because we didn't plan for this because I didn't know you. We can plan for the next date so you can become an observer. And we'll give you... We'll give you a, a free pass, you know, like, to get, like, five of anything that you want from our uh, merch store. It, it's a secret merch store, well, but it's totally worth it. What, what is your merch? I'll, I'll ask you this much. What's your um, merch? Shirts, hats. What's on them? What are on the shirts? Not uh, not all of them, but um, we have like a kids shirts that say, "My dad is gay," and usually, gay fathers usually get that for their kid. Or, uh, yeah, being gay, LGBT rules sometimes because sometimes we have transgender people. Um. 
But it's, it, it's always, if we go all out. We even have dildos that have, like, like Trump on them. Well, maybe not Trump. You know what? We, we, we're gonna take that one down soon. That one was for the Trump supporters that, uh, came over that one time. Uh, they um, liked it. Uh, well, they came a few times. If you know what I'm saying. And, um... I think almost all of us know what you're saying. But my favorite of all the merchandise is, uh, the squeaky, uh, ball gag. It's hilarious, let me tell you. Like, when you bite down, it makes a squeaky noise, and not everybody likes it. But the people that get turned by uh, on by it usually get that. Squeaky noises. Yeah, it goes squeaky. There'd be a button that sets off an alarm during it. I mean, that. I mean, I'll have to look into if there's anybody that would be interested in observing that likes alarms. I mean, it's not often that we have observers. Like, we have set dates. But we make sure it's consistent, so if somebody wants to observe one day, uh, we have to be told in advance, so, like, if more people want to, you know, observe, we can make that a thing that happens. <laughs> 